Funding for the Railways of Crotunia Tilly to the Rescue has been provided by... Here at Super Bowl Lanes, we're about fun, community, and involvement. Whether you're at the grill or the alley, at Super Bowl Lanes, it's always a good time. At Super Bowl Lanes, we care about the importance of family, teamwork, community, and of course, fun. Super Bowl Lanes is a proud sponsor of the Meal on Tune channel. Super Bowl Lanes, let the good times bowl. country of Grotunia, there lives a railway company called the Fantasyland and Fairytale Railway Traction Company Limited. There are many engines that live here who run the main lines and branch lines of Grotunia's railways. One of the smallest engines in the company was a switch engine named Tilly. She moved engines in and out of the sheds, sorted out all the coaches and wagons, and prepared and brought the trains for the big engines to take down the main line. The biggest diesel of the company was Farnsworth. He adored pulling passenger trains over the mountains to the towns, but he loathed any goods train. Where are my coaches? Hold your wheels, Farnsworth. They're nearly ready. Well, hurry up. I can't waste time dealing with silly little engines like you. What do you mean, silly? I spend my days running these yards while you zoom down the main line with your coaches. Well, you work with freight cars. I work strictly with passenger coaches. I never touch those dirty things. Well then, you're a disposable engine then. You won't be ready for emergency trains then. Suppose d d d disposable I'll have you know that I'm an indispensable engine. I am needed for passenger work. You're just as important to us big engines as that puny little tender engine from the circus or whatever. Who are you calling puny? Watch where you're going along those points! Well, watch what you say about us smaller engines. We may not be as big as you, but we're just as useful as you over-glossed passenger engines. Oh, I didn't need this today. Good day, sir. I said good day. Nothing warranted you saying good day that second time. I don't care! Morning, sir. Express runs right away? Sorry, Montana, but Miss Ella had to do some rescheduling this morning. There's a slow goods train waiting at Selgrub Central Yards, and she wanted you to pick it up from all the stations in the Selgrub region, then start work on the express train. No problem, sir. Be back in a bit. I wish I could take a train outside of the yards. Just then, Tilly's friend Thomas arrived. Like a few Crotunians, he often stops by from the island of Sodor, and this morning, he was just bringing a good strain of supplies to his own branch line in Crotunia. Good morning, Tilly. How are things in the junction? Same as always. Everybody's busy with their own jobs while I'm stuck shunting cards and coaches into place. Don't worry, Tilly. 
I'm sure you'll get a chance to work outside Colville. I was a shunter like you when I started on Sodor, but once I learned enough and proved I was really useful, I got my own branch line and coaches. Really? Really. So don't worry. You work your hardest around here, and I know for a fact that you'll have a bigger job soon enough. Oh, sorry, Tilly. I have to take these supplies to Gradinia now. Have a good day. I'll try. Selgrub Central Station is one of the biggest stations on Crotunia. Every day, passenger trains rattle and roll in and out of the station, hauling coaches of all kinds to and from the other towns and cities. And it was a very busy morning while Gordon was stuck outside the platform doing nothing. Oh no, not him! Hello, slow coach. What are you doing sitting around? Don't you usually pull the express? I know, Farnsworth. I've been placed with another job. I've got to wait for my driver to pick up a schedule before I can set off. Oh, how quaint. I suppose it's only fitting for a ten- Don't you start that! Not like you are late by five minutes. Okay, that was not my fault. It was all because of that silly little circus engine. And a goat on the line. And an overheated radiator. Look, the point I'm trying to make is, at least I'm working on fans worth. Oh, what luck. Can you leave your coaches here and help Gordon take some container wagons later? But... Oh, but, uh, splendid. Uh, uh, Head to the Gucci uh, yard, uh, find some wagons, and be at the Selgrub Bay container docks by 12.30. There's a big load to haul, so we'll need all the help we can get. Uh, but... But... Uh, but... I... 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 I, I what? You were saying? <laughs> Farnsworth, wait! You've forgotten about the passengers from my line! Oh, bonjour! Farnsworth! As Montana pulled in, Callie the rescue shunter rolled up along the other platform. She was delivering emergency supplies to all the stations on the main line. Morning, Montana! What's up with you? You look like your connecting rods are twisted. Uh, sorry, Callie. Just waiting around to collect a freight train to bring around the region this morning. I've got a long run across the border today, so I can't be late. Don't worry about it, Montana. You've been pulling the express for years. You'll catch up with it. Besides, I just heard that Henry and Chatsworth are managing the runs from Selgreb to the mainland for the morning. So you'll be covered until then. Well... I suppose you're right. Thanks for letting me know, Callie. Anytime, old timer. Attention, Oliver, you're clear for the nine o'clock local to Selgrand Bay. Oh, and could one of the shunters please bring in Montana's wagons? We have to clear the platform for Thomas's supply train from Virginia Harbor. <laughs> well, I'd best be on my way then. The station needs these supplies in case an emergency breaks out. All right then. Have a good one, Callie. Breakdown Protunian coming through! Woo! A little while later at Colville Junction, Tilly was feeling upset about Farnsworth's teasing and not being able to pull trains of her own. She wanted to do more than just moving cars and coaches in a single place. Hey, Tilly! Tilly? Are you okay? I suppose. Is there something bothering you? Sort of. Is it a bad thing to be a switch engine? Of course not. I used to be one before I joined the rescue team. Why do you ask? Well, Farnsworth keeps telling me about how I'm just a little switch engine moving real engines around the train yard. He always makes me feel like I've got the lowest job in the yard, while all the other trains get to travel. But how could they travel without their wagons? Should the big engines move back to collect their wagons, risking hitting the points or colliding into another train? It's your job to keep other engines safe when collecting their trains. And look at the other little engines of our railways. Tracy works as a shunter, but she also pulls the mail. Emma works at the docks and 
on the seaside branch. And Ivor, <laughs> boy, he sure keeps a cool head running from the coal mines to the seaside branch and all around Crotonia. So you see, just because you're not as big as everyone else doesn't mean you can't do more than they can. Your size is what makes you unique. Really? I wouldn't say it if I didn't know. <coughs> Tilly, uh, I owe you one. <laughs> See? The yards wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Selbridge Bay Harbor, Farnsworth and Gordon were crossly sitting on the container dock, waiting for their flatbeds to be loaded up. Hurry up, Terex! I need to get out of these good duties as soon as possible! And my coaches will need to be taken over the mountain soon. Keep your smoking, you two! I'm working the best I can! Well, you should go faster! Yes, I agree with Gordon for once. Have me loaded first. You first? Who made you top engine? I just want to get back to pulling my coaches so that fine people can enjoy the view, and so that other fine people can sleep comfortably, and so other- <laughs> Oh dear, Farnsworth! Don't burn all your fuel telling us what we've heard before! <laughs> well, let's not interrupt him then. Be right back, Gordon! Need to get the last few containers to hook up. We were signing five in the shipping company shed they were on. Right, Salty? Right to me, hearty! <laughs> what happened next? Nobody quite knows. Farnsworth said he heard a conductor's whistle, while Gordon said he heard nothing. Either way, Farnsworth started off, and Gordon, wanting to get his work done, followed behind, just as Salty and Ariel came back with the last shipment to go. What the? Gordon? Farnsworth? Oi! Where are you two off to? Well, don't just stand there. Go and try and stop them. Quick, Salty! Go, 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 go! Hey, watch you two! I had the right of way. Get back here! Where Montana was finally making his way back to the junction with a loaded slow goods train when suddenly. Sorry, Montana, but we gotta go back around the loop. We've forgotten the flatbeds for picking the other day. I'm going to beat you, Bondsworth. No, you won't. <sighs> Salty? Why are we stopping? They be at top speed now, lass! Oh, no way we can get them now! What should we do? <sighs> not sure. They're used to racing. But I'm not sure if rule breaking's typical. Hurry back, Salty! Uh, what? Just hurry back to the harbor, quick! We've got to warn the other engines! If we keep racing like this, there's going to be a crash at the junction. I'm going to be late. The border special is going to be stuck unless I get back in time. What the? Gordon! Farnsworth! Stop!
Winter Cali. We've just gotten an emergency report. There's been an accident at Gripsville Force. Montana's overrun the point, and he's crashed into an embankment. Gordon and Farnsworth are both stuck in a ditch, and their cargo is spilled in there. We've got reports of no injuries on site, but help could still be needed. We've ordered a breakdown frame to be ready for you. Pick it up and get there as soon as I can. Got it, Chief. Over and out. I'm the Crotonian Patrol, and I'm ready to roll. No time to talk. Montana, Gordon, and Farnsworth are all in a mess. What? Rattling rivets! What happened to you? Oh, I was moving along the line, and the signal was clear. But then they came along the next minute, and the signal changed. You should have known we'd be coming. The signal should have been down for me! The signal? For you? Ha! Huh. I was supposed to pull a fine passenger train over the- ah, It's not fine as the express. Why that train is as precious as- Quiet! Goodness gracious, you two. You're acting worse than Montana should be. He's worked all morning with the slow freight all around Selgreb, while you two have been breaking safety regulations on the rails all morning. Crossing the intersection without warning other engines. Racing off in the station when you're not supposed to, and leaving coaches on the platform. And nearly sending engines straight through the buffers. Looks like you two will need more than just new paint to look better. Oh, I'm sorry about the mess, Callie. The signal was cleared. But I guess I should have looked more carefully instead of rushing back down the line. Nonsense! The accident wasn't your fault. It was silly engines and a dozing signalman that caused the problem. You were simply too late. You've been working really hard from what I've heard. Still, we better try and get you guys back on track. Break down Crotunian to the rescue! Back at Colville Junction, there was a great state of panic. Without Montana, the Special Express train, the Fairytale Arrow, couldn't move anywhere. The manager of the railway company, Missy Ella, was on the platform listening to the noise. Please, Ella, I need to get back over the border by tonight. I kind of miss my connection back to Tuckburg. I'm well aware of that, Scrooge, and we're doing the best we can to get everything under control and on time. Couldn't you find another engine to pull the train? But all of the other big engines are scheduled with trains. Everyone except... How come you can't do it, Casey? Oh, Tilly, I'm sorry. I'm stuck on back-to-back -back goods runs to the freight yard. This cargo's important, and so are the loads Cormac's arranging for our depot here. I wish I could help you. And I've got to go and get Slice in the quarry and bring them to Grufflin Harbor! It's an urgent shipment! Well, I'm sure they'll find someone to pull the train. And I think I found just the engine for the job. You have? Yep, and I'm looking at her and her back engine right now. Really? Me? Pull the express? Yahoo! Tilly could hardly contain herself. After waiting for so long, she finally had a big train she could pull outside of the junction. Thank you, ma'am. We're ready to go now. Oh, we won't let you down, Miss Ella. Will we, Ivor, old boy? Soon, the pair of engines coupled up to the train. They were told that Henry and Sir Reginald would meet them at Selgrub Central and take over from there. The passengers quickly boarded the express coaches bound for Selgrub City and beyond. The baggage van's door banged shut, the drivers brought up steam, the conductor blew his whistle, and the fairy tale arrow left the station.
but triumphant, Tilly and Ivor rolled up to the platform with the heavy coaches. Bubbling boilers! You made it just a minute before the deadline! Oh, that's one in the headlamp for Farnsworth! Serves him right for calling you silly little engines! Henry and Sir Reginald soon moved out of the way so that a shunter could couple the fairy tale arrow coaches to their train after the boarding was complete. And Tilly and Ivor left to go and reload their bunkers and water tanks for the return journey back to Colville Junction. A few days later, Sir Alan Featherington, the directing manager for all the Crotunian railways, and Miss Ella rounded up some of the engines and vehicles for a very special announcement. <coughs> Ladies, gentlemen, engines, cars, buses, and coaches, we are gathered here today to honor a very special switch engine and her fellow tank engine friend. She has proven to be very brave when she prevented a nasty disaster from happening in this very rail yard, helpful from her work here in the depot, and a dependable go-to engine from her readiness to help a bigger friend in need to take the express form, with the help of another hard-working friend, of course. Tonight, we would like to thank you, Tilly and Ivor, for your hard work, bravery, and determination here in Colville Junction. Ivor shall receive his own vintage passenger run on the Seaside Railway, and to you, Tilly, for all that you've done around the junction. Your very own mail run. Three cheers for Tilly! So now, even though she still works on shunting in the junction, Tilly has her own special job on the railway pulling mail cars down all the branch lines on the railways of Crotunia. She loves working with her friends from the junction like Johnny and the Greendale Rocket, and Tracy from the Dreamfleet Rail Company, and her other friends like Thomas and Casey Jr. always make sure to give a friendly keep when they're on early morning jobs. <laughs> Engine number three on track one, you are clear for departure. And Tilly is very proud of finally having a big job to call her own. Funding for the Railways of Crotunia Tilly to the Rescue has been provided by... Here at Super Bowl Lanes, we're about fun, community, and involvement. Whether you're at the grill or the alley, at Super Bowl Lanes, it's always a good time. At Super Bowl Lanes, we care about the importance of family, teamwork, community, and of course, fun. Super Bowl Lanes is a proud sponsor of the Meal on Tune channel. Super Bowl Lanes, let the good times bowl!